the Zambia police, through their spokesperson, Esther Katongo, have urged the members of the public to restrain on commenting on issues they do not fully understand. Stating in a statement, Shaleta said her institution is privileged to have private information that members of the public are not aware of and they do understand that it is during what she termed as illegal public gatherings that criminal-minded people also assemble and advance their criminal activities. But the question is, if indeed the police service is privileged with classified information about the invisible hands that carry out criminal activities, why then haven't they followed up on the questionable characters? If also the recent killings of innocent people are as a result of organized crime as the spokesperson and the president have implied in their statements, could it be a coincidence then that the criminal activities only happen at public gatherings which are termed illegal by the authorities? Why don't these criminal elements appear in other public gatherings which are also vulnerable to such attacks? Shouldn't the police then think it wise to issue more permits to more people to gather legally after all their duty is to protect the people? Whatever the reason which led to the senseless killing of the two individuals, the bottom line is that the police failed to provide safety for the people. And for their failure to provide safety for the Zambian people, the Zambia Police Service is our loser for today. What a loser.